very excited about this new movie. Let's remind people a little bit about the story of the 33. This was in 2010. Uh -huh. There was a terrible mine disaster in Chile, and um, um, wh what happened down in that mine? Is this, is this all based on the true story? It's based on the true story, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and in fact, we had a lot of uh, contact with uh, the miners themselves, that they gave us a lot of information and data of what happened down there. Uh, at the beginning, it was a story of survival. Basically, uh, once they were found, there were some other problems because, uh, you know, besides that they were receiving food and water and medicine so they can survive until they were rescued, which uh, uh, was a doubt at the time. They, they didn't know actually that that was they going to really happen. They were really far down. Who do you play in this, by the way? 700 meters, 700 meters, and, you know, underground, yeah. Who do you play in this? Uh, Mario Sepulveda. Oh, you play Super Mario? Yes. Super Mario. <laughs> no, honestly, this they call it. If you forget, it was only five years ago, but uh, they called him Super Mario. Super Mario. Super Mario. That's okay, right. and I'm and, uh, sorry, they were 700 meters underground. Yeah. The, which the stone is, in actually... America talk, that is. Uh, 700 meters underground. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. More or less. That sounds like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand how it is. It's a long way. It's more it's than I would way. want to dig. It's more than I'd want to dig. Right. Do you remember it? Do you remember the actual story when it, when oh, it was happening in the news? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I start following the story basically from the moment that attached to one of the drills, the drills yes. that actually found them. Yes. And there was a note that said, "We are alive." The 33. Oh, from I that, that story. They drilled yeah. all the way down. They didn't know if the guys had survived, and they That's attached right. a note to the drill. That's Extraordinary. Right. Yeah. And from that moment on, it became kind of a, uh, you know, a thriller, a suspenseful movie. Uh, and the most amazing thing about it is a story like this, uh, you know, very often, it's a, you know, it starts off as a tragic story, but it's such a brilliant, happy ending. They all get out. Yeah. It's more Hollywood than Hollywood, the story. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> right. If somebody would have write this, yeah. you know, critics would have killed him. <laughs> have, yeah. you, have, you, have you been down in a mine? We shot, actually. Oh, you shot the whole thing in a mine? In real mines, in Colombia. Wow. We did it in Colombia, and yeah. uh, we were in two mines, and then, uh, you know, the What's it, was it like? It was very hot, I understand, down in the original oh, mine. No. In the actual mine where the event happened, it, it was actually very hot, but we were working in very cold mines. So imagine, it was not very nice for us. It was actually miserable. So you were having to pretend that it was hot uh, in a cold mine. That's right. <laughs> that so means, were you like shirtless and everything? Uh, yes, half naked. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I think you're burying the lead. This movie is a half naked Antonio Banderas. Right. <laughs> and 32 other guys. <laughs> yeah, and 32 other guys. Yeah, obviously, obviously. But let's put some asses in the seats here. All right. <laughs> Okay. It's like Magic Mike, 700 feet underground. <laughs> it's Magic Mind. It's Magic Mind. It's ma ma magic, magic Mind. mind.